Okay, everybody, today Buddy will be eating, if you see he's in this cage. Because we don't feed him in his cage, because then he'll think every time we put our hands in there, it's food. So, um, yeah, just trying to open the mouse package. See? There's the mouse. Don't be tricky. Sorry, people. smelling. See? I'm just going to put the mouse in a cup that way. It's easier to grab. No, I don't want your tail down. I'm just going. I don't really know. I'm just going. Oh, that smells so bad. So foul. That's like the worst part about it. It smells so foul. And yes, people, I do wash my hands after doing this. So, ready? Don't look away because you'll miss it. And that's it. Now I'm going to let you guys watch him eat while I clean his cage. So, there you go. I hope you enjoyed watching him take it. If the camera turns off, it's no big deal. All you're going to really miss is him trying to kill it for the next 10 minutes. So, yeah, I'm going to clean his cage now. He usually doesn't make any noise when he's eating because it's not a live it's not a live mouse. But he doesn't know that, but he doesn't hiss at it or anything. Maybe once in a while, but not usually.
that's hot, the heating pad. He has a heating pad, and it's like, you touch it accidentally, and it's like so hot. What, are you going to be swallowing it anytime soon? It's dead already. Yeah, it takes him like forever to figure out it's dead. But I guess it's just his instinct to want to kill it. And I know a lot of people are probably going to be asking, why do you feed him frozen and thawed mice? Well, the reason behind that is uh, live mice can hurt them, they can scratch them, they can do whatever. You may say that, well, no, that can't happen, but just look up, uh, like, why to feed your snake frozen and thawed mouse or frozen thawed mice or whatever, and you will see why. And you will see pictures of snakes that have been ripped open by mice, and it's just a lot safer, so... Thank you.